a YouTube playlist allows you to organize a series of videos to share with your students. Your playlist could target a unit, a standard, or an objective. You can personalize learning for your students by allowing them to pick which content they want to consume from your playlist that appeals to them. Your playlist could describe how to accomplish several tasks, then allow your student to choose what they want to do. In this video, you'll learn to create your own playlist and share them with your students on Google Classroom, a Google site, or basically anywhere else online. To create a video playlist, you need to create a YouTube channel for your Google account. Log into your school Google account and visit youtube.com or click YouTube under the app launcher. Click on the circle with your picture or your initial and select the YouTube Studio option. This will create a channel for your school account. This will be the default for your first and last name. I suggest not changing these because it will affect how your name shows up in other Google applications. Click Create Channel to continue. There you go. You're now a YouTuber with your own channel. Next, click on the circle with your picture again and select YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is a little different than YouTube. YouTube Studio is how you upload and manage your own video files. When you search from Studio, you are searching across your own channel and not the rest of YouTube. There's a lot going on with this screen, so let's focus on the Playlist feature. From the left menu, click on the Playlist option. The Playlist screen is going to open in a separate window. You'll notice you have no playlist. We'll create a playlist after we find a video to save. For now, let's close the Playlist tab. Click on the face circle and select YouTube. This will take you away from YouTube Studio and back to regular YouTube. Now we'll find a video that we want to save to a list. Search for a topic to find a video. In this case, well, let's find a crash course video about the Civil War. While watching the video, click the Save button. This will prompt you to select where to save the video. We now have the option to create a new playlist. This option wasn't available before you created your channel under YouTube Studio. Click the Create New Playlist option and give the playlist a name. Next, select the Privacy Settings. As you would expect, Public means anyone can find it using YouTube Search. Unlisted means anyone with the link can view your playlist, but it will not show up in a Google or YouTube Search. This works for posting uh, to a Google Classroom or another learning management system. Private is hidden to everyone except you, meaning none of your students will be able to see it. If the playlist is for your students, select either public or unlisted. Private will prevent the students from seeing the list. After setting the privacy settings, click Create to continue. Now your video has been added to your new playlist. Now we'll hop back to YouTube Studio to have a look at the list. Click on the face circle and select YouTube Studio. From the left menu, select Playlist. You can see the playlist is here with only one video. Let's leave YouTube Studio and return to regular YouTube to find more video security. Here is another video I want to save to my list. Now when I click Save, we see that our existing playlist is an option. By filling the checkbox, we now add this to our existing playlist, then click the X to close the window. Because three is a good number, let's add a third video to the playlist. One note, you could add a video to multiple playlists that would let you cross categorize the video. Now let's hop back to YouTube Studio and then to Playlist. Now we see that we have a much more interesting playlist with three videos. Let's click the Edit button and I'll show you how to customize your playlist. You can change the title of your playlist. Under Playlist Settings, you can control if others can embed your playlist. Embedding is when someone includes your list in another website. You probably want this enabled just in case you want to embed your playlist inside of a Google site. Under Advanced Settings, you can change privacy options and have your videos automatically ordered in the list. With Manual Ordering, you can drag and drop videos into the order you want them to appear. You can add videos directly from the playlist. You can search by topic or add by URL. Select the video to add and click Add Videos. Let's see how to share your playlist. Click the share icon to view your sharing options. This address is the most common way to share your playlist. Click the copy button to copy this link to your clipboard. Then you can paste this somewhere else, such as an email. The embed option allows you to include this playlist in a website. So if you have a blog, you can add this playlist using this HTML code. You can also share this to most other platforms. 
but usually you'll just copy the web address uh, below when you want to share this link. Let's look at how to share this playlist in Google Classroom. In this case, I'll post it as a material. Give it a title and a description, then add it as a link that I copied from the YouTube Studio. Then organize it under a topic. Next, I'll show you how to add a playlist to a Google site. Double click on the page where you want the playlist to be seen and select embed. Then paste the address to the playlist and click insert. Use the blue circles to resize your playlist. Preview the site to see what the student will see. Then click play to see the videos in order. Or you can select the video by clicking the top right corner. That's YouTube Playlist for Teachers. I hope that gives you all you need to get started curating videos for class. Post any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and let me know if I can help.